Welcome back, you guys, to Let's Play Down Your Up of E3. Um, it's been a bit since I've played. I took a little break uh, to mentally prepare myself for what's to come. Uh, yeah, but uh, Kid Omi got executed. Sad face. Eh. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Why, Monata? Why'd you kill Monosuke? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Oh man, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you need to vomit, let it out. It will feel much better afterward. Monosuke, he was no different from Mono Kid. He was getting in the way of us getting along. We don't need him. <laughs> I just don't need him. We few remaining Mono Kids must get along. No matter what, we must always get along. Not even Father can stop us from getting along. Not if he knows what is good for him. Huh? This academy belongs to us. The age of the mono kids begins now. <laughs> How dare that rebellious tell me, young man? You get the sexy attitude of yours is just so cute. It's so cute how you little crew is shrunken by one member. Yep, shrunk. You know, not getting any larger, you know. Ah, and it's so unbearably cute. All this cuteness makes me feel like I'm about to sneeze. What the fuck? <laughs> well, that was random. <laughs> ugly bitch. Who are you calling an ugly bitch? It doesn't matter! Now's not the time for that! Uh, Kirumi! I, I can't take this anymore! Even Kirumi was killed so brutally! <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore! Uh, am I gonna end up like that too? I won't let that happen, Imiko! I'll protect you no matter what! I'll protect you no matter what! But... I don't want to do this anymore either. Please, let's just stop this killing game. I don't care if we're trapped here forever. <laughs> oh, isn't that what Atua said? If you all desire, even if you desire to escape this place, can corrupt you beyond redemption. It's Monokuma who's corrupt. He's the one who distributed the motive videos. Those who video were more dangerous than we thought. We have driven Kirumi that f to have driven Kirumi that far. I'm sorry. <laughs> what worries me is, as long as we're trapped here, we don't know what's true or false. That must be why Kirumi did not want to show us the videos. She thought that if everyone felt the same murderous rage she did, the killing game would be pure chaos. She wanted to stop it. If that's the case, then we really should we just show our videos to each other? That was our consensus from the beginning, not including you, of course. I'd assume Kokichi would try to show us videos to get under our skin. But this, that did not come to pass. What, I wonder, were his intentions? Huh? I'd never do something like that! I still think about what Kiru- I'd st I'm still thinking about what Kirumi said. What Kirumi said? Everything you saw was true, even though I remember only remembered it upon watching the video. Yeah, that is weird. What she said earlier, correct? Huh? What about it? She said she remembered, and it didn't sound like a lie either. Maybe that video had the properties of the flashback light if it, if it had made her remember. Huh? The properties of the flashback light? Still... How could Kirumi remember something she she never should have forgotten? Serving the entire nation seems too important for her to just forget. Uh, that's true. Does that mean with motives to kill that we'll remember by watching our videos? And if that's the case, maybe it's best we don't watch the videos. As long as we don't see the videos, we won't know our motives. Yes, now I am convinced. It's probably for the best. Those motor videos will just mess us up. It's better that we believe in each other. That's right. It's better to not remember our motives for everyone's sake. 
Hearing you speak of everyone's sake is the least believable I have heard yet. How rude. I'm always doing stuff for everyone's sake. I'm sure you won't believe me when I say that stuff like that, so I'll just keep lying. Or it may but maybe Kirumi's final moments made me change my views. She tried to escape until the very end. Li running, running away to live. Might not be a bad idea. Maybe, but the facing the truth isn't enough. Yes, true. It is okay to run sometimes, but ju you just gotta win in the end. That's all you got to do. Uh, yeah, this whole thing was weird. And with that, the second class trial ended for us. A pirate... A, a pirate? I've never heard that word either. <laughs> we had still lost a friend. What is the end Kaito spoke of? And how do we reach it? I don't know. I still don't know. Oh, man. Yeah, I had to take a few day break to get away from this thought. When we returned to the courtroom, the area had already bl blanketed with dark in darkness. For now, we should rest. To me, that is the most rational course of action. E yeah, and my brain's out of juice from going full throttle all day. Like, you even have a brain to use. Anyways, the killing game is over. I won't allow it to go on. It'll be fine as long as we listen to it too, huh? Well, I'll just be fine. What's wrong, Gonta? Why are you staring up at the sky? It's just, even when all this bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. But stars here different, not the same ones Gonta used to. Different? You mean the positions of the stars? Yeah, Gonta looking, but no one can, no can find star he remembers. But why? We taken somewhere far away? Far away? Nay, nee, let's head back already. I'm wiped out. Uh, yeah. Oh, hold on! I have something to tell you. I have something to tell you. I have to tell you guys something. Blah, blah, blah. What now? Like I said, I'm wiped out. <laughs> no, no. It only just take. It won't take that long. So just listen to what I have to say. Well then. What is it you have to say? Everyone seems to treat me like I'm some kind of compulsive liar. But that's ridiculous. There is a way worse liar than me in our group. A liar worse than you? Um, I'm talking about Maki. A what? What do you mean Maki's a liar? <laughs> Maki admitted it during the class trial, remember? Ryoma wanted him to her to show him his motive video because he lo was looking for a reason to live. But that wasn't the whole story. Ryoma was blackmailing you, wasn't he, Maki? B blackmail? Ryoma just so happened to discover Maki's true identity. So he used that to blackmail her. I bet he said something like, If you don't show me my motive video, I'll just tell everyone what you really are. That's why Maki didn't want us to show want us to know what she what how she met that she met Ryoma with Ryoma blah, blah blah she wanted to keep her true identity a secret that's why she kept quiet to the last minute why you well, what she thought you're making up now Maki's true identity what <laughs> I've known Maki's true identity the whole time <sighs> for a moment there I thought Maki had disappeared she moves so fast what the frig oh <laughs> You know, this is an interesting turn of events. B would you really kill me in front of everyone? H hey, Maki. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Uh, yeah, you probably snap my neck like a twig right now. But that's n not you, your style. Y you'd rather kill from the shadows. Right, Miss Ultimate Assassin? What? What? She's an assassin? That honestly wouldn't surprise me, considering the fact she's kind of kept to herself, but... Oh, gosh. Aww. To be continued. 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 <laughs> well, then. This was a strange turn of events. 
A sweeps week. I got the servant's gloves. Aww. You want to save? Yeah, let's save. And then we will continue forth a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. I've only been up... I haven't even uploaded the class trial yet. That's how crazy this has been. <coughs> Too many long episodes. And I do apologize, you guys, for the long episodes that started. Whoa, what? What you're seeing right now is live footage from the skies of our camera in the sea at the scene. You can clearly see the meteors raining down. We're witnessing what looks like the end of the world. This is not a movie. I repeat, this is not a movie. This is live, unedited footage. This is real. The sky is falling before our very eyes. We've just been notified the government has officially declared a state of emergency. Subway stations have opened as shelters. The government is instructing citizens to remain calm and evacuate to the nearest shelter. Children and invalid, invalids, in, invalids, wow, invalids, <laughs> invalids are being given first priority. What? A transfer student from beyond the grave. Okay. I'm going to be very confused, aren't I? <laughs> It was the day after the second class trial. We all headed to Maki's lab on the third floor of the school building. What awaited us there was an unexpected sight. Oh. Oh, damn! What? What the heck is this? It's like, weapon warehouse. <laughs> See, I told you, she's not the ultimate child caregiver. She's the ultimate assassin. Maki is the ultimate assassin? Kokichi, you learned this from the Motive video, right? Monokuma said the everyone's ultimate talent at the beginning of their Motive videos. Ryoma knew Maki's true identity because he had her Motive video. And because you saw that, I knew the whole time. Given my position, I'd obviously know any, any before any of you, right? Your position? Oh, don't worry about that. That was a lie. Anyway, her reaction yesterday pretty much gave away she's the ultimate assassin. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you could probably snap my neck like a twig right now. But that's not your style. You, you'd rather kill from the shadows. Right, Miss Ultimate Assassin? Damn, guys. But why ever does she lie about being the ultimate child caregiver? Because <laughs> assassins tied to do all their killing. If people find out they're assassins, they can get all cautious. They'll get all cautious because they can't kill anyone. Did she really hide her identity because she was planning to kill us? Oh, but then, why hasn't she killed anyone yet? She has m had many opportunities to do so. Jeez, oh, robots can't understand human feelings, let alone girls' hearts. Please take back what you said. I too can understand human feelings. But I'm still in the process of collecting data. Please give me data, please. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> if you're so worried, why don't you ask her? She's been holding up in her room all day. I can't promise that she won't try to kill you like she tried to do to me. <laughs> Good thing about everyone here is trying to stop her, but what about next time? <laughs> That's like a sleeping god's lie. The talent of a killer... What is the biggest threat to all of us who wish to survive? Of oh, that. Sorry. <laughs> Let's just lock her up somewhere so she can't kill anyone. I'll leave that to you, Ganta. Huh? But, but... I'll help too. I don't want another killing to happen. Uh, wait. You don't have to take it that far. It's not like she's trying to kill us. A sneak attack is the way to go! I have to hide. I have, we have to strike before she does! Hit her from behind! Sneak attack? Strike before she does? Should an Aikido master say those things? And if that's the case, then it's you and I'll work together with- We'll work with everyone to uphold the peace! If so, then I'll cheer you on. I'll use my magic to pull pom-poms out of my mouth. Oh, wow! That's kinda a peppy cheer magic would be- would make anyone excited! Hold on, guys. Leave Maki to me. I'll take her down. I'll take down that mask of hers. <laughs> Ultimate assassin, my ass. Always missing around. Kaito, don't do anything stupid. <laughs> okay, let's just leave everything to Kaito. 
Gonda, you should stand back. Nothing good will ever happen when you try to help. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Hey, Gonda. Like I told you, a man shouldn't apologize so easily. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I didn't need that. I didn't need everyone's usual reactions. It's time for a, it's time's a bit of a factor here. Matakuma! Everyone, get behind Gonta. Himiko, get behind me. I'll surround you with my body to keep you safe. Oh, like I said, I don't need your usual reactions. It's almost halftime, so the stats will be out soon So everyone for everyone to obsess over. And since you guys came to the class trial, I figured I'd give you a wonderful prize. Like I said, I try to. I I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. Huh? My adorable little cubs aren't coming. That's strange. Eyes and shine, or a sign. Oh no. Rise and shine, or a sign. Yay! They're finally here. You're so cute today. It's practically obscene. Just wow! You guys are seriously cute. Have you always been this cute? Uh, the shock of my super cute kids seems to be making me go bald. <laughs> like in patches. He's actually balding? Ugh, gross. Uh, I'm cold. Very cold. Hey, my cute little cubs. Could you hurry up and give them the prize? It's a little too cold. I can't stand it. Hurry. I want to go somewhere warm. Why aren't you holding me? Why aren't you backing me up? Father, we are not your slaves. We will not let you use us anymore. Huh? From now on, I will be calling the show. Oh, gosh. Monodom killed off two members and is now taking the role of leader. Oh, frig. Ha! A good one, kids. Very funny. Now you can show me where the hidden cameras are now. Father, you're too old for this. You've been doing this for so long, you've become predictable. It's the age of the monocups now. We're out, out with the old and in with the new. Well, what? What What about the old longtime fans who... Anyways, you're just a has-been. Why don't you retire somewhere and work on your tan? Has-been? Good job, you two. You memorized my script perfectly. Do you really think you can defy your dad? Do you think I'd forgive such... Uh-oh. Oh, well then. You were saying? <laughs> Did you forget, Father? We can, we can only we can pilot the exosols. What? Really? How could you forget that? Thank you, Father, but this academy is under our harmonious control now. Step aside, Father. Well, this took a weird turn of events. Are you saying yeah, I got that treating my kids like my property was wrong? It's completely and utterly wrong. No, 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 no way! <laughs> Back to the bald patches. Uh, he's bald again. Seems the shock made him bald. It's time for good. Now then, he is the new headmasters we free have for you bastards. A wonderful prize. Uh, um, let's see what the prize is this time. Oh. We have a golden hammer, a magic key, and a ninja scroll. <laughs> okay. Wow, what a bunch of random junk. I, I mean, bravo, bravo! We hope you can look forward to working with you. I hope we can all get along. I think that key goes to the pixel door. I just want to say that. I had a feeling it was more junk. Oh man, we didn't need more junk. We had way too much anyways. And its name is Kibo. Now you've gone too far. Everyone, we can't allow this kind of intolerant language. No fighting. Everyone has to get along. Use this prize to explore the new areas together. Oh, we've hidden another flashback light somewhere too. Hope you can grow closer now that you've regained more of your memories. So long, farewell. Oh gosh. <laughs> Monokuma. Oh goody. Uh, geez, those cubs suck. Monokuma was way better. Damn it. I've gone too I've gone too I've got too much pride as a human to let those robots push me around. 
The world would be a better place if robots didn't exist. They should all be destroyed. I've recorded your intolerant remarks and will report them to the proper authorities. So what are we gonna do? Well, if, we can't, if we can use this junk, we can open the places, but... <laughs> Yay! A new area means we can have a lot more fun! I don't know if that means we'll have to have that much fun. I find myself more interested in the flashback light. Perhaps we'll recall the school secrets. If that's the case, then we'll just deal with the murder girl later. Hey, bro. I'll leave this to you again. You do a good job, okay? Uh, okay, got it. If you find a dangerous place, come get Gonta. Gonta will protect you. Uh, with all that aside, what are we gonna do with that thing? <laughs> I bet he'll. I bet we can skin him and make a lovely tea cozy. Uh, let's just leave him here. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna leave him here. I suppose I should try to figure off, try out these items around the school like last time. Uh, I want to click on Monokum again though. I am not going to bother. <laughs> oh gosh, can I look around in here though? A lot of different weapons here. Wow, I see chainsaws. That was the first thing I clicked on. Maki knows how to handle all of these. Mm. All right, I got a shooting range back here. Hmm. I look at it in here. Okay, so just these black cases? What is this? There are three black cases lined up here. Do they all have weapons inside them? I would like to know. We got gun racks, firearms! Whoa! I exclaimed in awe at the sheer number of guns lined up. They can't be real. No, of course they aren't real. They're airsoft guns. Of course. Monokuma wouldn't give us real weapons. Texas assault may be strong, but if we were to revolt with real guns, Monokuma would never allow that. <sighs> if these weapons are real, and if Kirumi were here, she might have taken us out in order to escape. For her people. Yeah, that actually is a really sad thought. I can't tell if there's one whole weapon show. Let's talk to Kaito. Kaito! I'll leave this to you. Do a good job. Yay. I don't mind, but... You don't mind? But the what? It's just that you were talking... When you were talking about Maki, you looked really upset. Oh, yeah. I can't believe she's an assassin. I can't believe it either. She doesn't seem like she could be some terrifying assassin. Huh. Terrifying, huh? Either way, leave Maki to me. I'll take her down that mask of hers. Oh. Kaito, be, be, be good best boy. Be good boy. Be best boy. All right. Well, and now that we are here. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Angie. You kind of scared me there for a moment, girlfriend. So, if a new area opens up, that means we're fun for everyone. A two and I will cooperate so everyone can have a super fun school life. A two and sees everything. Even what everyone, did, everyone, what tr everyone truly desires. What everyone truly desires? And that's right! A two is always watching over me! <laughs> that's a two of for you. He's so divine! Um, I feel like Angie is getting more creepy. Yeah, the more you get to know her, the, the more you can tell that her fetish is... Uh, weird. Alright. Well, I see some people around here. Uh, let's talk to Gaunt over here, because I know that's one of the doors. <sighs> Gonta, what's wrong? Oh, sorry. Gonta see, think he see bug. You said that before. Is it a bug that you can barely see? Yeah. Gonta feel like he can see it sometimes. But Gonta barely can see it. It probably it probably a mistake. Because Gonta wish we were bugs here, so Gonta make mu ma mistake dust for them. Is that really the case? Gonta make that mistake more than once? Anyway, if you find dangerous area... Come get Gonta. Gonta will protect you. I know he means well, but I'm hesitant to ask him to for, to ask him to be a shield. I know, precious boy. I don't want to ask you to be. I don't want to ask you to be my sword and shield. You are. You would be a good Briantar, though. I bet. Uh, too much is happening all at once. It's just too much for me. 
Yoma's case was a shock, but then to find out that Kirumi ran a country and Maki's an assassin? An average citizen like me can't keep up. I'm not sure the ultimate cosplayer can be considered average. But I'm glad I'm an average citizen. Even if I had a strong reason to live such as, Ma as Kirumi's, or even if I lost everything as important to me like Ryoma did, if anything like that happened, I'd probably just cower in a corner somewhere. Putting aside what Kirumi or Ryoma did, did was right or wrong, I think it's amazing that they were able to do anything at all. For people to die in this place, it's just not fair. I'd say not. Hi, Daddy. Stop, stop, stop. Every part of every human being, even their ugly side, is beautiful. There is no limit to beauty. Kirumi, she too had her own exceptional beauty. A crime that bold yet calculated. A battle against the truth. Brutally killing others for her beliefs. Unfeeling sacrifice, sacrifice, unfeelingly sacrificing the few for the many. And her attachment to life and determination to live. Her attempt to escape was so very ugly it was pathetic, pitiful, wretched. But it was beautiful. I had never before seen such beauty in a human being before. <laughs> um, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what Kyo is talking about right now. In his own way, I also I also have Kirumi's last moments burned into my brain to my mind. Oh. Alright. Large door. The magic key. Pixelized. All right. Oh, that was neat. Oh, that was neat. It was like vaporized. All right, what's in here? The door collapsed, so we can go back to here, go get to here, back to the back here. Whatever. I wonder. What I wonder is beyond here. Perhaps someone awaits us. You think? <laughs> Merely a jest. Yes, the world is full of jests. A world full of jests. I suppose that. I suppose that's true. I cannot speak. I apologize. I'm exhausted. A staircase. We can go up to the fourth floor now. Okay. I wonder what's up on the upper floors. Are like, it's nothing dangerous, right? Or is there? Don't worry. Gonta will protect you no matter what. Thank you, Gonta. That's reassuring. A tuxedo and a mask would suit you. Hmm. Tuxedo's essential for gentlemen, but masks too? I should go. <laughs> Sailor Moon references. Ah! Okay, what's up here now? The curiosity is killing me. What? Uh, the frightening atmosphere was so oppressive, I let out a shout without realizing it. What's going on in here? The music is horrible! Holy shit! It's got an interesting beat, though. Um, so this is a made-up story, but there was a brutal murder supposedly took that took place here. Please stop! If I hear any scary stories, I won't be able to go to the bathroom alone! Oh, but she said made-up story, so that means it okay, right? Oh, gosh. <laughs> so long, farewell. Okay, never mind. Oh, gosh. Okay. Just making sure that was a back wall. Okay. Oh, so moogie. So I'm just checking, but this is a school, right? Y yeah, at least that's what Monokuma said. This floor doesn't seem very schooly at all, though, does it? I'm not sure what you mean by that. I mean, this floor's atmosphere is completely different, like this whole other building. Oh, like it's a whole other building. Making a building like this must have taken a lot of money and work. And for all these research labs are amazing, how much money was put into this school? Was it just built just for us? They did mention the labs so that we could develop our talent. You, you, you research your talent perfect, isn't it? Oh, per, you research your talent perfect it. That's kind of like a school, isn't it? Sorry, I read that really wrong. And then Monokuma really wants to be this, wants this to be a school where ultimates gather? And yet, the same at the same time they're trapping us here and making us kill each other yeah it doesn't make sense we're brought here and then forced to do a killing game um i don't understand it at all 
My, my, my plain mind has hit its limit. What on earth is this Academy for Gifted Juveniles? That is a very weird translation for gifted juveniles. It sounds like a prison. You never hear the word juvenile unless it's included in like a prison term. Like, like a juvie and stuff. I never hear that. This area feels spooky. Got to scare too. It's okay. The murder story was just made up. Not just story. Got to have weird feeling. Maybe stain on the on the wall over there is blood. It's just a stain. It's probably just staged, you know. Staged? Monokuma the Monokas probably put it there to scare us. Really? So the script has been flipped, huh? Tsumugi, does this kind of stuff bother you? Well, it's not that I'm okay with it. It's just that what it's so overdone like this, it makes it seem fake, so I feel okay. But Ganta, you were so reliable until just now. I guess it was too early for you to wear a tuxedo and a mask. Uh, oh no, but tuxedo's essential for essential for gentlemen! Uh, <laughs> oh goshy gosh. Um, okay. So Oh, this is friggin' What the fuck? Oh, it's so weird. So weird. Okay, hold on. Okay, we'll go into this room then. This room must be an ultimate lab. I wonder whose lab this is. I should look inside. I don't know. Oh, ultimate anthropologist lab. Ooh, I like it. <gasps> Kyo, it's a lab just for you. <laughs> it's an all. It's almost like a museum or a library. It's huge and a little eerie. There are various objects stored in shelves and cases. Some of them seem very rare. It would appear this is my lab. The ultimate anthropologist lab. It's so wonderful my face contorts with glee. Even university labs are- not even university labs are well stocked. Mmm. Who brought all this stuff here? And it's so high! That's it. Is I suppose there's no point thinking about it. Nothing like, the, like this place makes sense. All right. Let's see. Well, I guess we'll end the episode here. For now, we'll start up in the next one. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this every day. Touch you guys are. Bye-bye.